So what's the big benefit of writing HTML in this weird syntax? Well, when we write HTML with functions and values, it makes it really easy to reuse any bit of code that we want and just import it and reuse it again in another context. This is a big thing that's missing from HTML, and that's why we see so many frameworks uh, and so many tools like uh, Handlebars, for example, allows people to take bits of HTML and reuse that in a server-side way. We have React, which allows you to do that kind of in the client, and then also on the server with uh, you know React server components and things like that. Uh, but the idea that uh, we want to be able to reuse HTML uh, is, is not a new idea. This is something that's just kind of needed for web apps. So let's take a look at that together uh, and see how easy it is for us to just pick a part of our application and just reuse it. Um, so uh, let's say I've got this section uh, and I've got uh, this paragraph tag and I use, I'm going to save this and refresh this. I'm also going to make myself small again. Um, let's say I want to use this thing five times. This is a weird app where I just uh, say, hello, this is my message five times. Um, what's cool about uh, HTML is these are all just values. So I can just take this paragraph and move it into a variable called my paragraph. And I can say my paragraph is just HTML. And we'll come back to this message variant, what that's for uh, two videos from now. Um, but the idea is uh, this is just HTML. Uh, and this lowercase message keeps it flexible, so it'll work with anything. Um, and what we can do is just take this variable and we can just reuse it as many times as we like. And so you'll see that instead of having to duplicate all this markup, uh, I'm able to um, just pick a part that I like and reuse it. Um, let's say that we want to uh, you know, have multiple uh, sections. Hello, how are you? Sometimes we want to reuse some markup. Uh, maybe we want to like, uh, you know, even reuse like a class. Let me import these HTML attributes like we did in the last video. And we'll import that class function. Class title. Um, for consistency, I want to make sure that all of my headers always have class title, but um, sometimes I just want to change up what that title is. So let's take a look at this. Uh, what you'll see is rendered here uh, is exactly you know, what we'd expect. We've got our H3 with our titles, and then we've got this is my message being repeated uh, you know, twice here and then three times here. And so that's all what we expect. Uh, but what's cool about being able to reuse this stuff is we can say title, and then we can give it as an argument what we want to reuse. So instead of typing this every single time, we can just delete all the stuff we don't care about and then make a reusable component or a reusable function that just returns some HTML as a value. So title, and then this is gonna be like the, you know, the, the text, uh, I'll just call this a label that goes in there. So we're not confused uh, when we're taking a look at the, the text function here. But whatever this is, we can just reuse that. And you'll see that we have the same effect. And if we decide that all titles should really be using H2s instead of H3s, uh, that's it. We just change it in one spot, and now our code is starting to, uh, to really come together. Uh, because we're working with lists, we can even benefit from using uh, list functions. Um, so if we have, let's say, a list of names that we want to show. So we can say, you know, view uh, list, um, and we want to say, I want to show Ryan and Scott and Alexa. And I just want to show those as bulleted items in a list. We can just pretend we have a function called view list that's going to render that bulleted list for us. Or if we give it a list of strings, uh, it's going to be able to figure out how to render that. So here are our names. We can use a UL element. Uh, normally, a UL element has these li tags in it. And then we can have like a name like Ryan, you know, uh, something like this. Uh, but we don't want it to always have, you know, uh, two members that always say Ryan. Uh, what we want to do is you want to use these names and we want to view this list item. So I can say view list item, uh, Ryan. And that's just another function. So reusing HTML is as easy as just typing uh, a function and grabbing the chunk of HTML that you want to keep uh, and using it again. So rather than always hard coding Ryan here, we can have this be dynamic. 
So we can say, I want to be able to easily do this. And what you'll see is that uh, this isn't using my list of names, right? But it is um, uh, reusing that li function that I want. So uh, this pattern, we've seen this before, and there's a way to fix the, the repetition of this pattern and use this variable, and that's by using our list.map function. So if we call list item, view list item on all these names, it's going to make a list that looks exactly like what we've typed here from lines 20 to 23. So as I save this, you'll see that I can just add items to this list, and boom, that's it. It's uh, incredibly easy for me to just reuse markup, uh, just like I reuse, uh, you know, I loop through lists of strings and ints, I can loop through lists of HTML, and I can take lists of HTML, and I can put them uh, in inside of, uh, you know, other elements. Um, so that's really exciting. That's pretty much like the, the basics of reusing uh, markup with different functions. You can just pick out whatever you like. Uh, it even goes farther than that. If you don't want to have to um, worry about we're using, let's say you have um, some color class like color red that you want to reuse in a bunch of places. It's like maybe titles and list items should use color red. You can just make a variable for these classes. Um, you can just say uh, class color red. You know, this one might not save us typing. <laughs> um, it might not save us that many uh, characters, uh, but we do get some of the benefits of Elm's compiler when we make mistakes, right? So uh, let me let me uh, change this up, and instead of using a class, let me say color red, and we're going to use the style tag here, uh, just kind of like a little hack. Um, so you know, class, style, ID, all the attributes you're used to, uh, we have access to here, and this is an HTML attribute. Um, and we can define that in one place, and then we can use it wherever we want. So here you'll see that the headers and the uh, list items are using color red, whereas the paragraphs aren't. And if we want to reuse color red on a, on a paragraph, it's really easy because we made a function. You only have to do that in one place, and boom, now everything's red. Uh, the cool thing is if we make a mistake, uh, it's not a string anymore. We have the Elm compiler uh, to help us out. So. When I make a typo, um, it says, hey, I can't find a colo red <laughs> variable. And it gives us uh, some recommendations. And we can just copy, paste. Uh, making HTML with Elm is a lot of fun. Um, and you get a lot of really great feedback uh, as, you're, as you're working. So let's just keep the, the paragraphs red. Uh, let's say if we ever wanted a different color, uh, maybe a magenta or something, I don't know. We just change that one spot. And then everywhere else, um, we're, we're going to get access to that. Um, so that's pretty much it. So yeah, we saw how we could use list map. You can reuse HTML. You can reuse attributes. Everything is just a value. It's just a variable. So it's, it's totally up to you. Any bit of your program, you can kind of break apart and reuse. So that's kind of like the, the basics of, of writing markup um, with HTML. Uh, next, we're going to take a look at how we can take some of these HTML uh, elements and move them into their own modules and start to make components. Uh, so I'll see you in that video.